website's kingthesting.com. Yeah. Some mutant bought the king and the sting. But why didn't someone get king and the sting? Yeah, so I just told you. Some dude bought it way before us. So, I thought it would be very interesting to take a look at how the fighter and the kid subreddit trolled Brandon Schaub and Theo Vaughn in a huge way. Now, this happened a while back, maybe about three years ago, but I was just reminded of it when I was scrolling through the fighter and the kid subreddit. Now, if you don't know what the fighter and the kid subreddit is, good for you. Honestly, good for you. But... The Fighter and the Kid subreddit essentially is a place where about 82,000 people gather up and just completely bash and make fun of anything that Brandon Shop does. It's honestly a pretty interesting place once you start looking into it. And before we continue, if you can please hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and we are trying to get to 3,000 subscribers. So thank you. So here's the backstory. About three years ago, the first episode was uploaded to the King and the Sting YouTube channel. Prior to that, Brennan Schaub and Theo Vaughn had discussed the idea, the general idea, and had hinted at the name for the new podcast that they were working on. So naturally, somebody bought the domain for the thekingandthesting.com before Schaub could get to it. This was confirmed when he was talking to Theo Vaughn on an episode and told them that they needed to use kingthesting.com not king and the sting no kingthesting.com and Theo Vaughn was like why Brendan Shop explained that somebody had taken it and now the domain only red redirected you to another comics website the website's kingthesting.com yeah some mutant bought the king and the sting really yeah so we got kingthesting.com what yeah, man. You mean King and the Sting? KingTheSting.com. But why didn't someone get King and the Sting? Yeah, so I just told you. Some dude bought it way before us. Some Who? Mut some mutant, and we, we found where he's at. He's in Australia. Nuh-uh. Yeah. And he won't give it up? Won't give it up, and then when you click on it, it goes to other comics websites. No way. King some hater. The just sting? confirms that it was an actual troll who got the website. <laughs> well, fast forward to three years later... Apparently, this guy on the subreddit is the person who bought the kingandthesting.com domain as a joke. Obviously, there is no way for me to confirm if it's really him or not, but if you look at his profile, it does say he joined three years ago. So, I guess the timelines do line up. But the thing that I found really interesting is that if right now you type in kingandthesting.com on the search bar, it will take you to the fighter and the kid subreddit which i think it's hilarious it's a genius move man honestly 10 out of 10 of the trolling and being a complete asshole and honestly as soon as i saw that i went and bought comedyenforcement.com which just takes you to my youtube channel for now but working on something cool for the future also shop just announced that he signed with one championship to be an official news source for them do you think this will bump the thick boy channel up or Will it be another one of Shop's many projects? Let me know what you think on the comments below. And also, I'm working on two short documentaries that uh, should be dropping soon that I'm very excited for. And I will be uploading videos like this one. I, I'm thinking three times a week at least. You know, short, quick videos talking about things that I find interesting and, you know, straight to the point. The documentary style videos, I will try to make at least one every two weeks or so. The goal is obviously more content, but we are doing what we can. But that's all we got for today. See ya.